the biggest differences between Chinese and Western culture? Uh, actually, I think there are many differences, but maybe the biggest one is that um, Chinese culture is more traditional, but Western culture is more open. Yeah, I think so. Because, you know, um, China is a country with a long history, right? So even people today are still influenced by the source of some, uh, the source of how, of thousands of years ago, like Confucius, you know, a great philosophy. So, so we, we are still influenced by those sources. So like we are more traditional. But for example, America is, uh, mm, it is not a country with a very long history, right? But, uh, uh, and also it is a country of immigrants. So it's like a multicultural country. So it's more open, I think so. Mm, actually, I don't know much about that. Uh, I don't concern more, much about politics. But if, I mean, if uh, both China and America, if they, they have some common interests, they, their relationships will be better. But we don't know, actually. But uh, how to say, I think uh, for our Chinese people, we are trying to seek for a cooperation with America, I think. Uh, but I don't know what, uh, I don't know how will America respond. <laughs> yeah. So d d I don't know, you know, in the past, I mean, when Donald Trump was the president of America, you know, there were a lot of problems, right, between China and America. But now things may change because there is a new president. <laughs> but I don't know much about the politics, actually. Yeah. Uh, mm, in the future, uh, there will be a great diversity. I think uh, people will be more innovative, or you know, new things happens. New things happen every day, right? So we have to be uh, we have to be accustomed to new things. So I think Chinese culture will be more innovative and will be more tolerant. Because uh, with the development of globalization, more foreigners come to China, right? And we also talk with people in other countries. We have trade with them. So we do a lot of things with them. So it will be more tolerant, I think. Uh, actually, how to say? I think, you know, Chinese people, most of our Chinese people are friendly. So as a foreigner... If you come here and you know what you're going to do here, for example, you come here to travel, you come here to work, or you come here to do uh, something legal, you know, <clears throat> you, you, you will be warmly welcome, of course. So for adver advice, <clears throat> I think maybe mm, be friendly and kind. That's the first thing. And... Uh, if you don't know anything, just to ask. We Chinese people are willing to help you, I think. Mm. You, mean, you mean the status of the country right now or, or what? Mm, maybe it is a little messy. I'm not that sure, actually, because, uh, because you know, the, the, the election just finished, right? Okay. Maybe, uh, maybe people who support Donald Trump, like they will have some actions or something. I'm not that sure. Maybe it's it will be a little messy for these staters. But I think the 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 biggest uh, the biggest problem for America is that people need to get together to overcome the the the, the COVID nineteen. Yeah. The, the, the situation is not that good, right? Because a, a lot of people died in this epidemic. Yeah. So I think now they need to help each other. They need to get together to overcome the difficulty. And maybe after that, they need to work more on development, on economy, maybe.